This video shows you what to do if your HP printer does not pick up or feed paper from the input tray when you do have paper loaded, and an out-of-paper message displays on the printer's control panel or on your computer. Sometimes, the problem can be fixed just by doing a printer reset. First, make sure the printer is turned on. If it is off, press the power button. Next, turn to the back of the printer. Without turning the printer off, remove the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds for this type of reset. Reconnect the power cord to its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front of the printer. If the printer does not turn on automatically, press the power button to turn it on. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface, then slide out the input tray. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Then touch Tools. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Often, the condition of the paper you're using can cause paper not to feed correctly. First, slide out the input tray. Then, remove the paper from the input tray. Remove any damaged paper you find. Make sure that there are at least 10 sheets of plain white paper, but no more than 25 sheets in the paper stack. The printer can hold more sheets of paper, but this number is best for testing. Make sure all the paper is the same size and type, and then tap it on a flat surface to align the edges perfectly. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Then touch Tools. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from dust, paper fiber, and other debris. In this step, we'll clean the rollers. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean lint-free cloth, clean cotton swabs, clean water. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Slide out the input tray and remove the paper. Slide in the input tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord. Return to the front. Slide out the paper input tray. Using both hands, gently rotate the printer until it rests on its side. Look for the paper pick rollers near the back of the printer. Blot the swab on the cotton cloth to remove excess water. The swab should be damp, but not soaking wet. 
Clean the rollers with a moistened cotton swab, removing any buildup or debris. These rollers are difficult to reach, but they are the most important to clean. If these rollers inside the printer are not cleaned, this problem will continue because these are the rollers that feed the paper into the printer. Using both hands, gently rotate the printer and return it to its original position. Slide in the paper input tray. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Then slide out the input tray. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Then touch Tools. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, Try printing it again. Listen for the rubber paper pick roller. You should be able to hear it rotating. Then try slowly pushing the paper farther in until the roller engages to pick up the paper. Be careful to only push one sheet of paper and not to push it in too far. This can cause paper jams. If the page does not print when slowly pushing the paper farther in, repeat the previous step to clean the roller again. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, skip the next step. Your printer might need to be serviced. If the page prints when slowly pushing the paper farther in, try printing your original document again. The paper might not have been loaded far enough into the printer. If the issue is resolved, there is no need to continue troubleshooting. If the paper only feeds through the printer when you slowly push it farther in, repeat the previous step to clean the roller again. If the issue continues after repeated cleaning, skip the next step. Your printer might need to be serviced. Next, we'll make sure the paper settings in the print driver match the settings for the paper you are trying to use. On your computer, return to the document in the program you were trying to print from when the issue occurred. On your keyboard, press Ctrl and P to open the Printing Properties window. Click Properties. When the Properties box opens, click the Paper Quality tab. Select the Paper Size drop-down menu, and then choose the appropriate paper size. Select the Media drop-down menu, and then choose the appropriate paper type. Click OK, and then click OK again to print the document. If the document prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the document does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.